Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Steve. I'm Lindsay. Today we're going to be reacting to Fred Dibna takes down a massive chimney brick by brick. I feel like Fred Dibna is something that has, or someone that has been suggested so many times since I joined the channel. With yes. You. Yes. I don't know anything about him. <laughs> yes, that is why we're doing this video today because I've had a ton of requests for Lindsay to actually see Fred Dibna. And I know you've done a few of his videos. Yeah, right? I've done a few of his videos. Um, you know, generally speaking, Fred Dibna was a very popular or very famous steeplejack. I don't know what that means. Basically means that they build and take down uh, chimneys, stacks, and uh, I think it started with like working on church steeples. I think that's originally where the term steeplejack come mm -hmm. from. But basically these men go work up in very high places in precarious situations. Okay. And when I first saw Fred Dibnaw um, doing, I've watched a handful of videos at this point, and when I first saw what he was doing, it's just, it's absolutely amazing when you see what this man is doing and how he is doing it. Um, this is, you know, I think this is probably uh, one of those, it's almost like an art in a way, what he does. Yeah. And um, I, I think it's underappreciated, um, but he was actually on TV for a period of time. I don't think, I think his, his main thing was being a steeplejack, but I, if I'm not mistaken, he also was famous for his love of engines or something. Let us know in the comments, guys. I can't remember exactly what else it was, but I think it was like engines or steam engines or something. The only thing I've ever really looked at about Fred is uh, his steeplejacking, though, him. So, is this still a profession that's around? Like, well, do people still well do this? yeah, but um, obviously it's one of those things that probably, there's probably a lot less chimney stacks now than there were back, yeah. you know, go back, you know, to the 70s or before. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's still chimney stacks around and obviously steeples on churches. There's always going to be need for people who work up in high, high places like that. Yeah. I think there's just less of them now than there probably was, you know, go back probably. a few decades ago. But um, because, you know, as coal power plants and things like that have come to an end, um, although nuclear yeah. reactors, but I, I don't really know if you would. Yeah, I guess you would need. It's really dangerous. <laughs> it is. It is dangerous. Um, but anyways, uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and get started. Yeah, I think you're going to find this really, really interesting. Um, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and check out. Fred Dibna taking down a massive chimney brick by brick. Is that the wind? Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, I think it is. It's not so pleasant uh, on a Monday morning and it's cold and wind's blowing and you look up like, you know, and you think, oh, oh God, you know, and so on. <laughs> this year uh, it's been windy. Nearly every day, I don't think we've had above a month when the weather's been really decent. It's either been blowing a force nine or uh, raining or, you know, <coughs> snowing or freezing cold. Um, so you suffer. Is he not harnessed in? No. Some days. <sighs> Bloody awful on the floor, you know, what? and then you set off up the ladder and uh, go through the fog, and it's like being in an aeroplane. You can realize one thing real quick. Oh my gosh. Those ladders were put up by him. What? Yeah, those aren't those. How those, did he get that up there? That's something that we might check out on a different video, but uh, yeah, that's not just ladders that are on the side of a chimney already. That's that's literally ladders that he's basically rigged on there with rope and some pieces of board. And he's not strapped in. No. Why? No. Like any little accident can oh, but no he matter did, how experienced. But he are. did this for decades and did not this is not well, how he, he must have guardian angels because <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, you know, it just was was much faster to not, you know. You can see all the chimney stacks and towers and church steeples and hills outside of town sticking up through all this cloud and sun shining up above. Beautiful. Um, sort of. Oh. My camera's never worked right though when that's right. been about. You know. oh. And you can see when the rain's coming, you know, half Would an hour before it comes, no. it's on its way. You can see 
you know, miles and miles. Maybe if I was strapped in, maybe, but even that... Summer's best, uh, when sun's shining, you know, and everybody down below is all sweating away inside and you were up there in the nice, cool breeze blowing, you know, uh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, let me just take a little rest right here, Kathleen. It's strange, once you've started, you get, like, addicted <gasps> to it. You just live it, you know, like, day and night thing. Oh, and my God. obviously, I'm sure you can tell this is wooden scaffolding with some also with some metal poles that he's used to uh, to rig this together so he can walk around it. It's pretty incredible, right? Uh, that's one word for it. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what in the world? Think about it. Talk about it. Some days you, you don't want to go. Oh, you know, why, why the hell did I start this job? You know. <laughs> But uh, once you've got cracking like it, uh, well, I always feel that, you know, when I'm really putting a big pile of stagings up round top of a chimney, oh you know, like when I've got it all up, you know, it's a work of art, you know, um, a masterpiece. It really is. So he's taking it down right now or putting it up? Oh. Taking down what? He's deconstructing this the the chimney yeah yes oh by hand like seriously but i just want himself to, well he's got an assistant on the ground right now he helps like rope up ladders and and they they bring all this stuff up by hand obviously right mm. so it, it's pretty that incredible crazy this particular job i've got the contract for seven thousand pounds to knock it down a brick at once right down to the bottom that doesn't seem like enough when i first came <laughs> to look what well, would that be today then, i guess yeah back i'm then. gonna say i, I I don't have a clue. Like today, that would be uh, seven thousand pounds. Would be what would that be about nine or ten thousand dollars U.S. dollars? But then for inflation, for inflation, I I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's probably around twenty thousand U.S. dollars equivalent. Okay, well, yeah. But that's a that makes. look how look how hard this would be. I know that's what I'm saying. I but like he was saying, this right here, I do believe is a work of art. When you see how this is put together, it's just it's amazing. It looks like the Kerplunk game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit. A cold morning, the wind howling down off the mountains, you know. Uh, and I thought, Ugh, you know, <laughs> how come they always send for me in middle of winter? <laughs> anyway. I'd have told the powers that be, like, you know, that I want £7,000, you see. Um, and I, I didn't think I'd get the job, you know. Uh, anyway, it turned out that they honoured me with uh, giving it me, um, which means that the other fellas wanted a hell of a lot more, you know. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, oh. Oh, oh uh. like shaking. Oh, no. No, uh, no. Uh, uh, the reason for the price were uh, I didn't really want the job. Like, if it, if it had been a repair job, uh, 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 which, you know, on uh, average takes, what, a month, five weeks, uh, it's not so bad, but when it comes into months and months, you see, it's a bit different. Furthermore, when there's only, like, one <laughs> of you uh, and such a gigantic pile of bricks, you know, you've got to have a stout heart to take it on on your own. Oh. Did you hear him there's, when there's only one of you? Yeah. So I, I don't know if his assistant's here or not, but he, maybe it is just him today. I don't know. Yeah, he should have asked for more. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way. Yeah, yeah but I, I can... I can see how that could be dangerous. Say, look at all these buildings around here. And if you were to, like, try to take down this massive chimney from the bottom... Like, yeah. that could seriously... Now, he does take down chimneys, you know, sort of all together instead of one brick by brick in, at different points. Mm -hmm. But it I think it depends on, like, if the place, is, the area is empty of people or whatnot. Right. But... Right so he does it inward. Like, uh, too many sense. buildings, yeah. you know, to, to drop the thing like or blow it up, mm. as some people do. The chairman of court all do that to be hard be work. Up, so I've got to knock it down and brick it once. Oh my gosh.
it don't do to think about uh, how long it's going to take you. You know, you've just got to keep bashing someone. How many someone. bricks is that? Oh, I've been here oh too my long gosh, already. This is like, I feel so anxious. Like, just any slip. Like, if he just, oh, God. Ah, there's no way I could do it. No way. You yeah, know, about three months and done that, which in my eyes, I'm quite disgusted, but the weather's been outrageous, you know, uh, and now we're, we're in with a chance to get something done. Like we've got everything working according to how it should do, like the chute at the bottom is working well, which you can have a lot of trouble with them if you don't Look get at the that. Yeah. Isn't that like, crazy? They keep getting bunged up and you're forever more waiting for the bloke at the bottom to clear out the bricks and you've got to make sure oh, he's out of the system. way because if you drop one down and it comes shooting out and hits him up back at neck, he's, uh, he's dead. <laughs> On the top, like uh, on your own, you get a bit lonely, like, you know. Nobody, only the birds about, and uh, occasionally I have a friend who comes round to see me, like, you know, and he has a shin up and we have a bit of a chat, like. Oh, my goodness. Like, I must do something, you know. Um, well, I feel better when I'm doing it, you know. I can come home at tea time and demolish a great <laughs> lump of steak. <laughs> Stand up there like he's on <laughs> solid ground, like it's nothing. Well, I think to someone uh, like that, it is like when you've done that for so long. Man, I don't remember how old he, I think he's in his 50s here, though. Like, that's that is one tough guy. That is hard work, man. And then, like, not only that, but after all day long beating these bricks, you got to climb back down with your muscles fatigued and you're just like exhausted. Yeah. I mean, like, that right there, like. Just hitting with a chisel on the uh, brick. Mm -hmm. You know, at first, it's not like it's not like you're like lifting like you know, no, hundred pounds over and over again, but over constant over. boom, 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 boom for like hours or whatever. Oh my god! And the wind and the cold and like oh yeah, he's saying wearing gloves. Taking a big plate of chips and sort of if you're mucking about, pointing around somebody's window frames, uh, things like that, they'll be fed up. You know, I'm <laughs> like. No, no exciting going on, you know, um, nothing to battle with. I just realized, where is the camera guy at? Like on another building or something? Really, you, you're dicing with death He's with a rock there, is he? top on the chimney, you know. Uh, I think there might be some sort of a crane, if I'm not mistaken. Like a, like some sort mm, of crane they're on or like okay. a bucket lift or like a, you know. Uh, yeah. I'm not 100% sure, but for some reason in my head, I feel like that might be what... What's going on there? Because, I mean, they didn't really have drones, I don't think, back then. No. So. Uh, there's been a lot of men died uh, fiddling with them things. I've never fell off a big chimney, you know. You only well, fall off one of them once, like. Right. <laughs> one day. I fell off a pair of steps in a little girl's bedroom and landed on a drilling machine and knocked myself unconscious. Ooh. And I don't remember much about it, but morning after, I couldn't get out of bed and I had to stay there for three weeks, <laughs> all oh. through falling off a pair of steps. And, you know, that's about the only injury I've ever done myself. That would be a rough climb, man. Yeah. Donald, uh, my labourer down there, he's uh, like a very important man, you see. Uh, you've got to have a man who has got a reasonable amount in grey matter. Which would you rather be, the labourer or him? The lookout or Reginald? Uh, <laughs> obviously, I'd rather be on the ground. But, you know, like, I think a lot of people, I, I don't know what else the labourer is doing, like, like, obviously, he's going to help, like, lift the, you know, bring stuff up with, like, lifting, with, you know, pulling the rope and everything. He's going to he's gonna help in all sorts of ways like that. But during when there's nothing for him to do, the entire time Fred is up there working, I'm guessing he is literally just the lookout the entire time. Meaning he just has to stand there all day, whatever weather's going on, mm -hmm. and just make sure yeah, nobody hard. walks by and gets hit by a brick. Yeah, that'd be hard. Like, that's, that's almost like... People, the construction workers who have to hold the sign, fla yeah. uh, flaggers, um, you know, sign waivers, whatever you want to call them. Um, that's a hard job. They're standing on the pavement all in day, the heat or cold, in one spot generally, and it begins to wear on your knees. And like, 
people don't understand how hard of a job and it can be just, just to stand yeah. there. Like it's it's a rough job, man. But uh, I must say, it takes a special type of person, a personality, to be able to do something either, like that. Either, either thing. Like no, I'm I'm talking specific about Fred. They like, yeah. I mean, there's no way I could not get up there and just la 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 do that all day, man. You definitely have to have that risk taking part of your brain switched on. <laughs> yeah, true. But I think a lot of these people, like Fred. Um, don't really see it as much risk because they trust in their art. They trust in their work. They they trust in the ropes. They trust in the wood. They trust in the, the steel. I'm too clumsy to do something. <laughs> like here, this noise of these fans going, it's impossible to shout to oh, one yeah. feet. Like, there's no way you can converse with feet. each other. Uh, it, it more or less runs by more or less habit. The thing is that you know, he's got a good brain, which is really what you need, you see. You get some young lad, like, his, uh, his art can be in right place, but if he sees a girl in the office, he wanders away, and oh, sort of when you need him, you know, you look down and he's gone. In the past, like, I've had lots of labourers, you know, um, some drank rather a lot, sort of led me astray in a way, you know. Um, Donald, he's, he's a, a staunch teetotaler, so in lots of ways he's a, a good ambassador for me, you see. He keeps me out of the pub. Mm. Keeps me out of the pub. Yeah. Look, look at that. This is something else I want to bring up. There was a time when everybody who went to work brought their lunch with them pretty much. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Like, cause nowadays that's actually a rarity in my experience when I've worked with people, like most people just do, to eat out. Yeah. And, and it's like over and over every day doing that, like how much healthier were these people back then bringing in their home or their and homemade meals, saving. their sandwiches like, or whatever. Crazy amount of money spent yeah. on eating out. Yeah. But I, that reminds me of my papa, my grandpa. He worked for the county when I was growing up, and he would take his lunch every day, and he would have his green metal Stanley mm. thermos with his coffee. Yeah. And it was just, yeah, I was like... It's one of those memories yeah. you don't forget. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's so different from nowadays in a lot of cases. <clears throat> Something's gone wrong with it, Donald. <laughs> Bricks are coming out at all hour, aren't they? Jeez, what is it again? <laughs> it's cheese buddies. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting. Oh. Interesting now knowing what that means. Yeah. You know, there was a time I did not know I what know. a buddy was. I would have, you know, just been like, well, no world's a that? That's a cheese buddy. But it's basically a cheese sandwich. Yeah. I think we'll get a yard a day off. No, that's fair. Just about down for June holiday. Mm. No, it'll be lucky and all. Get fed up, we'll keep looking up there, you know. In 20 years, I've only ever had two calamities. Um, one were. A load of brick fell on top of a, a blacksmith shop and completely demolished it. And I thought, this is the end of my steeplejacking oh career. <laughs> I can laugh now, but I didn't then, you know. <laughs> when I come down, I was shaking all over you know, in the pub for a pint. <laughs> but uh, Mr. Courtall uh, decided that uh, what I'd wrecked weren't worth keeping anyway. So there were only a very small claim off the insurance people. Wow. You see. And then on another occasion, um, we put a rather a big ding on top of a brand new motor car that uh, were parked up really with inside my piece of rope that I'd got round the bottom of the chimney. You see, it, it weren't really my fault. You see, I picked two bricks up and the wind took off a nice three quarters of an inch thick bed of pretty stiff mortar, which like went like an auto gyro on the wind and you know right over there about 100 yards and bush straight on top of his new car you see oh so he man. wanted a new roof on his brand new volvo <laughs> 
Now, I have to have a third-party insurance policy for people like Quartals. You know, if I kill one of their operatives, you know, I'm in dire trouble, you see. Uh, I mean, they'd commandeer my traction engine or something like that. <laughs> That's so crazy. Insurance men and me don't mix, you know. I mean, the thing is that I don't intend dying, you know. Uh, it's a bit like being a motor car racer <laughs> or uh, this fella who jumps over cliffs on his motorbike. Oh, my God. But he's got a life insurance policy, you know. If he has, it'll cost him a fortune. Right. That's incredible. Um, I already knew. Yeah. This was incredible, but what'd you think? First time seeing Fred Dibnaw uh, do his work. Uh, there is no way I could do it. No way. And it's just amazing, impressive, and a little crazy. This is your first time actually even knowing what a steeplejack yeah. is, right? You've never heard of that. No. I know it's not and really I'm still a... not 100% sure what it is. They build steeples and deconstruct them they, and for, chimneys. Yeah, they work on. They work. Is it just say they work on high okay. things, chimneys, steeples? I'm sure some of these guys would probably cross over into roofing. I'm guessing. I don't really know that for sure. It's incredible, guys. I mean, I think this is. It is an art form when you really look at it. I can see that. Like, you know, what you're building here to keep you safe as you're up here taking oh, down this man. chimney. Um, but uh, you know, and even how you're rigging these ladders, not one long ladder is a right. bunch of ladders rigged together up a straight up and chimney. It's amazing that he never had any type of accident, like major accident, like on the job. Because I, I mean, just one little thing out of your control, even like, right? Maybe the rope was a little worn or something. Horrible like gust yeah. of wind, yeah, like, at the wrong time. Yeah, just yeah, doing that for decades is just like. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. It really is. But uh, would you like to look into some more stuff of Fred sometime in the near future? Yeah. Seeing how he maybe puts the ropes up and mm -hmm. stuff, how he actually does yeah, that. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, it, it's fascinating. I'd also like to learn about more about Fred. You know, I've seen, I think I've seen four or five different videos about Fred Dibnaw, and each of them were, you know, really, really, really interesting. Um, but I've heard there is definitely more to his story than just steeplejacking. Mm -hmm. I, I think he mentioned on here his steam engine or something. I think that might be what one of his other passions were. Supposedly, when his uh, funeral happened, it was like, like massive. Because this man was like an icon. Yeah, that's yeah. the way. I, that's the way it seems. He he was an icon uh, for his of the grit and and work ethic. Yeah, work ethic of the time. Of the yeah. time. Yeah. They, you know, there's there's people a lot less people with you know the grit and the the fortitude that it took to to do things like this. Yeah. You know, it strengthens you. Because it's a mental battle, too, yeah. every day to know that you've got to go do this. Yeah, it is. And do it anyway. And Even in the weather and everything else, you know. But, uh, yeah, what'd you think? It's awesome. Pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah? Was this what you thought when we were going to check on this? I know. I, I'm not really. Yeah, it's it's definitely... Uh, Brad's a unique character, and I, and I, I, I appreciate, uh, you know these types of videos. I appreciate yeah. it. It gives you a glimpse into a time, you know, long, long ago that we don't see anything like this today. Mm -hmm. Steeplejack still exists, right? But, you know, like we don't see it. Right. And I'm guessing there's more technology involved today. I think there's probably a lot more safety regulations. Oh, nowadays, I'm too. Sure. It's probably not the same. Yeah. Let us know in the comments, guys, if, you, if you're a Steeplejack, <laughs> if you know any Steeplejacks, is it true that the regulations for safety have definitely increased? I can only imagine. Yeah. You know, they liability they, reasons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you got anything you want to add before we go? No. Nope. All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to learn about anything and everything from the UK and Ireland. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.